successes and, and some not so successful, uh, which is the nature of the venture capital business. You, know, you, you lay down your bet and you hope the best ones will come through in an extraordinary way and you understand that some will not. And if you don't risk, you will never succeed. Uh, when you look at Zynga, how good is it compared to everything else you've ever done? It's spectacular. Social networks, the user pay model, the Zynga model is, is, is very powerful stuff. They, uh, you know, any given day, more than 30 million people are playing farm ball. But that's, that's more people than are watching 60 Minutes. That, that, that's as much as every man, woman, and child in the state of California. 30 million is a big daily audience. 60 million daily users across their games, 240 million. So what can you do with that? of social networks and I think it's a social absolutely that's at the core but I want to add that I think we're seeing really change all, all of these are changes in consumer behavior that's also happening in new commerce change. social mobile and new commerce new commerce meaning all the things like what well uh, one of my favorites and this is a shout out forgive me is uh, uh, Mark Pickles' <laughs> wife Allie has founded a great company called One King's Lane every other day 50% of their customers 50% of the day. day. Go to One King's Lane to uh, look at, to buy the product. And what will they find there? Uh, they'll find limited sale, uh, glorious, luxurious, unique products uh, that are limited in number. So, uh, better get it. When you think about now, sign up. Social networking. <laughs> social networking is going to be the... Yuri will tell us that he thinks social networking is, is an old idea that Facebook has brought roaring into the future and that there will be one social that's a big question so that, that, that's, which that, is that, Facebook that's a big question that you that's disagree, an interesting question. you disagree with him on that or no I, I don't know how it's going to turn out we could have a couple of social networks we could have a federation of dozens of them or there may be one I think it depends it depends on what does your history tell you in terms of you know search engines and What does history tell us? History tells us that one of the keys to all these uh, incredibly important businesses is that they have strong, ownable network effects. Uh, Metcalf's law compares my more right? right? The value of the network goes up as the square of the number of connected people. Right. When you have 500 million people on Facebook and you square that, that's a really valuable and really big number. But um, I, 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 there may be multiple. Your instinct, on. Your instinct is that they, they can't wait to see. 
ask this group. All right. Well, uh, there must be some way to pull this. Okay, let me just talk about uh, media, which is my world. Uh, Google TV will do what to me? Uh, Google TV is the best instantiation I've seen merged in the internet and television in real time in your living room. Whether it's Google TV or these kinds of tablets, I think for the last time we've watched the Super Bowl without the internet in your laptop and on the screen. You know, you, you see that player running across the screen. Click on that. You know, what are the stats of, of him? Give me a different view of what's going on in that game. I think the internet and the TV are finally coming together in the living room. And uh, I think the, the tablets and the Google TV devices are going to do it. Speaking of that, I mean, we also have talk about Russia. Clearly, we always talk about China today. Uh, how, do you, how do you look at the impact that the number of consumers in China takes a very principled point of view, saying it is a medium, and it's got to be very objective, which is machine algorithms, about how information is ranked. Uh, you can't buy position in their network. And so for a, a, a state to uh, say, sorry, we're not going to let the information be ranked automatically, we're going to censor it. Also, it is today. And so then they stepped away in a meaningful way from the largest market for the internet. But my question was, what's the implications for Google and, and its future in terms of? Well, you know, I think Google, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, by the way, I think those are the four great horsemen of the internet. I think they have Google, Apple, Amazon, Amazon, Facebook. Those ones are really setting the pace. Forgive me for not mentioning the others. Yeah. But, um, each of those companies has insurmountable opportunity. I mean, the, the opportunities for them to innovate, to serve their customers, to uh, bring great delight to the world is extraordinary. They're not limited by market. They're limited by their ability to execute to get great smart people. There's a lot of great smart people. Yeah, but there's not as many as I think. <laughs> Instead of taking the web and having websites be framed, this is a kind of cool, immersive, fluid uh, experience. And so technologies that enable that, uh, things like Coverflow from Apple, or I'm going to shout out another point of entry, Cool Irish, you should download that. I think hint at uh, a lot of exciting innovation that's going to come. These interfaces are going to get radically improved over time. Other disruptions? Well, but I have to, I do think that, that 